Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at a triple shadow team here in the high day cup and we're going to have our shadow aerodactyl, our shadow rigtribal and the shadow mama snow and we also have like the gifts now on the right side not the main sprites. So let me know if you like this more or less like it's something that I'm not 100% sure of yet but um yeah, let me know in the comments like if you like this more and yeah let's get right into the video i'm also going to showcase uh, like the pokemon that i use now on the side a little bit or uh, the aerodactyl i have if you actually didn't know that like i was a shiny hunter before so i powered up all the shiny pokemon that's why i have like a shiny aerodactyl powered up to the maximum but um yeah not anymore now i play more pvp than hunting shinies here we can actually bait our opponent and thinking that we have earth power again but it's only a rock slide my opponent got a shield which is nice and we can farm them all the way down now with our rectory bell against the stunfist now which is a very nice for us uh, so we're gonna be able to win this game because we got this move through and finally gonna be able to win with this team this team wasn't the best team that was ever like around or anything like this like i it was fun to play i was done with my sets after like an hour for five sets that's pretty awesome but yeah like it didn't win that well i think i lost like i don't know 50 60 points or something i already lost the points before like a lot of them but you see the video later on like not today like i think in like two three days um but yeah this team wasn't the best but it also wasn't like completely horrible but definitely wouldn't recommend you playing this. It was just more for fun. I kind of wanted to try out a triple shadow team and see how much I can do with that. Also see the victory bill AVs like oof. I actually powered up the aerodactyl Air just for this video. Cost me around like 160k stardust. I hope that was worth it. I don't really think so but maybe we have like flying cup again with this thing is amazing but right now it's definitely not as worth it. And we have, yeah, our Obama's on the back, which also has zero in HP. Like, all the EVs are not really the best, but we can still chunk some opponents there. Against Vigoroth, we have to double shield, sadly, which is kind of annoying, but still should be totally all right. As we're gonna have then some energy, and usually you get a shield back anyway. But my opponent, I think, has Frostless, and Frostless can farm me all the way down here. I can put him low, but he's gonna have enough energy to get to like two moves against my other Pokemon. Frostless is a problem for this team unless you face it in the lead. So, yeah, or like in general, if you don't have the Aerodactyl against it, it's a little bit tr tricky, but uh, we can just go for a move there. This is a Shell Ball. We can actually maybe get a shield here and my opponent actually let it go which is cool so i can farm maybe down with the aerodactyl now and i should be able to do some pretty solid damage but he also gonna do some damage he has still a shield there was no way in me throwing the rock side there wouldn't have done anything for me so i'm gonna have the Amerak now against us in the lead which is pretty nice he goes into weekly tough a weekly tough we can just farm all the way down there's nothing really my opponent can do there and yeah, now we have the Marowak still aligned against our Aerodactyl, which is nice. And we can go for the... I, I, maybe I should have went for the Acid Spray there actually, but I don't know. Like it, this does damage the other thing that gives me a better matchup here. I think this wasn't the right play for going for the Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade just did more damage if he wants to swap out now, which he is not gonna do. Uh, we have Antaria in the back and we have two good answers against Altaria, which is pretty nice. That's also why I went for the Shadow Bomber Snow. Altaria is literally everywhere, so having two good answers for this is pretty sick and we're going to be able to win this game. Next up we have the Wicked Tough against us and we swap at the same time, which is pretty annoying as there's like not a lot that we can do there. And at least we got the shield there, which is nice. Maybe I can actually get it to another move there as well. My shadow bombers now. Yeah, it's 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 also not the best of these, but it's it's fine. We can still survive that, and my opponent farms me down now. It's fine. We have like two shields advantage, and if we have like we have now we have like two shields down for my opponent, but we have one shield advantage. If we have like the shield advantage with the victory, well, I'm kind of hopeful that we might be able to win this game. Let me see. We swap out here. And we have some extra energy and my opponent just surrenders because this is sometimes how it goes with the um, Shadow Pokemon like sometimes people just don't have any answers for the quick moves anymore. So yeah, we are actually able to 
get some decent damage against my opponent. We can go for a leaf bite here against some Vigoroth. Getting him down, only had to use one shield then. And my opponent goes into Talonflame Hard Counter. Sadly, he can get to it three moves, which allows him to get to a Brave Bird here right now. I have to shield because it's my only answer to Talonflame, really. And he goes for the Brave Bird, well played. He has a Trevon on the back. I think there's gonna be a loss. Even though we can go for some nice damage there with our Avalanche. Now, maybe I shouldn't have thrown the move, but doesn't really matter anyway. He gets to the move here as well, so it's a Shadow Ball gonna KO me. I'm not gonna be able to win this game anymore. But we're gonna be still. Having some fun with this team. Actually, it was super close. One more quick move. Man, like it didn't matter that I didn't. Okay, I think if he just went for the, um, what's it called? The the other quick move, Seed Bomb, he would have been fine as well, but my opponent just didn't want to. We have a good lead there. We have a good swap there. I think I should have went into the year Bomber Snow, though, because Bomber Snow should be able to survive some stuff a little bit better. But here, like all the moves are resisted, I guess it's fine. But the is a little bit more bulky, while the uh, Victory Bill has the shield here, sadly, against the Dedene. But we can farm down. Like, the reign of Razor Leafers has kinda ended already, like, longer ago. Like, there was, like, a time where Double Razor Leaf was so, so prominent and so good, but right now it's, it's not really that good. Like, I wouldn't really recommend using Razor Leaf that much anymore. But this dude kinda got hard countered by me, so sorry for that. Double electric on my opponent is kind of interesting, but does make sense if you have a flying type, uh, which is also a fire type, which doesn't really like water types. Doesn't kind of does kind of make sense. So, very cool team there on my opponent's part. We can go for the move there, we, but my, we have a shield. Like we have a shield. We sadly didn't get the quick move through, which is what it's supposed to be. Like you should get the quick move through, but still, three of those quick moves are enough to KO a Talon Flame, which is nice. I had a lot of lag today again, which was kind of annoying. Like uh, it was really, really annoying. Like recently, the days were totally fine. I don't actually know why this is always like like this. Like some days everything is totally cool and everything works perfectly and then like the next day it's completely garbage again and you cannot do anything i don't know why this is like the case here um yeah but uh, by the way we have the abomas now as a safe swap here mainly because of the talent flame because we can actually get a shield and we can shield here once of course he goes for the brave bird we can ko him here which is fine actually wait a little bit because i wanted to get the switch clock lower so we can swap out into our uh, Victory Bell immediately doesn't really matter because my opponent has a Skarmory in the back. So, good game there. Next up, Stunfisk. I don't know. By the way, like, if you know who did this, like, I faced on my old account three times in a row Stunfisk plus Trevenant, which completely hard walled my entire team there. Does some content creator make, like, a video about this? Like, I don't know why I see all of a sudden so many Stunfisk leads. I mean, it's okay against the Terrier, not really good actually. It is good against the um, Talonflame, but other than that, I don't know why it's like so common. Like it kind of loses against a lot of things in the meta. I'm not really that sure if it's that good right now, but I see it so often. I have no idea why. My next opponent here like, has a uh, Pidgeot again in the back, which is not something that you really want to see. And I kind of had to guess, yeah, the smart play would here for my opponent be to go for the Brave Prince, I shield, he didn't. And yeah, like, no, I actually lose CMP against the Stunfisk with an Aerodactyl. That's definitely how the game is supposed to go. Let me see real quick what's the difference between an Aerodactyl and a uh, Stunfisk in terms of um, attack. Plus, I'm not sure this is how it's supposed to be. Our Aerodactyl has only 35 more attack than a Stunfisk, but still can lose the CMP against it. Very, very nice. Yeah, and this is sadly how it goes right now in Go Battle League. Like, I lost CMP against a lot of times where, like, there was no way I could have lost CMP. Should the Aerodactyl with Trash IVs against the Stunfisk definitely lose the CMP all the time. But yeah, um, here we had to KO this um, Skarmory, at least we faced the Skarmory here, we didn't really want to face it in the bag. And we're actually going to be able to align our Pokemon perfectly now, and we have a Diggersby there. And with Diggersby, I don't really want to go into the Abomas Snow, as it's like double super effective. Here it's only single, so we can at least survive one hit. And we can KO him. Let's see what he has in the bag. I think I'll lose this game because of lag again. Ah, uh, no, it's Zangos. No, 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 okay. There was, like, one dude, I don't know if it's in there, because I played, like, 25 games with this team. Um, we had, like, a bonus snow against Ninetales. I literally threw my, um, 
charge move when we were aligned that uh, he did just his charm and I just did my powder snow where I basically does one turn for free. I literally aligned it perfectly. My opponent didn't sneak a move through, but when I basically came out of my charge move animation, my opponent already found me all the way down. And he need like three ch charms for this, so like this game works perfectly right now as intended. It's just super frustrating. I don't know. Like it, it's not like that itself bothers me or anything like this. It's just like okay, why do I even do this now? Like I don't really mind losing or anything like this. I'm fine losing against opponents where I have like where I played bad, where my opponent plays good, where my team just got hard counted, and everything is fine. I just don't like when you lose because the game doesn't work how it's intended to work and this happens sadly way too often recently again. It was like actually times where it was totally fine, I don't know. It, it might actually be like usually, I don't really think the servers are the biggest problem for Go Battle League, definitely not. I think it's more like the code, that's why I'm really happy that they rewrote the code and I hope that we get the feature live soon. I, I bet it's gonna go live um, after the season though, so we definitely have to wait a little bit more. But uh, I guess like servers are still a problem when we have like bigger events like the holiday event going on right now where a lot of people play. I guess this is like kind of a problem for servers as well because like right now it's really garbage to play. And yeah, you see my evil there as well. It's super low, but it's not low because of this team. I only lost like 50 points with this team. Um, but yeah, with another team, I lost a little bit more, but it was a fun video. So you're going to see that most likely on Friday, I would say. This video should be on Wednesday and tomorrow we should have the Everlock. I'm definitely going to try to showcase the Everlock as soon as possible as Everlock is a very cool Pokemon. Here against Ricky Bell. Ricky Bell against Ricky Tav is always so cool because you can just farm all the way down. I think I threw this game. No, no, this was the... Um, the Stunfist dude. I can actually go for the debuffing move there, which is nice. Look how much resisted rock throw does now. It's hilarious bringing to half health already. But at this point I thought, hmm, I don't really think that my Aerodactyl gonna have like that big of a usage there now anymore. I got the damage I wanted on him. And now I'm just gonna go try to razor leave him down. We're barely gonna be able to destroy the stun fisk in time. And yeah. But the best part of this team is definitely that you are able to um, basically save a lot of time because you've done after like an hour with all your sets which is just amazing of course but not really successful usually so maybe not that amazing yeah right now i'm just trying teams out anyway i'm hyped for the Everlock. actually like a new pokemon in the game is something that we need i hope that the january we're gonna be a little bit more exciting i think it's gonna be because we have a new game release we have the Sinnoh cup and the Sinnoh cup goes like two weeks before the game gets released about Sinnoh. So I think we're gonna have already an event about the new uh, game there and maybe already have the new forms out there as well before they're actually appearing in the main games. I think it was the same for Sun Moon as well with the Galarian forms, but I'm not 100% sure about this. I think we also got a little bit earlier in Pogo than we got it in real life. Gonna be a little bit interesting there, but here I actually kind of make a mistake, but kind of not. I think this game was over already anyway, but my opponent can just farm me all the way down with the Trevenant. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Good game there to my opponent. One Shadow Ball gonna one shot me most likely. No, actually not. I still with the one HP in the dream. Very nice. This might be already the second to last or last game. I'm not sure because I have to record a little bit different now. You're also gonna have a little bit different audio most likely now. Um, but yeah, if I want to use GIFs, like I have to record it like way different than I usually do. Usually I record the audio and the gameplay separately. Here right now, I basically look at the gameplay and the audio gets added on that. Um, I don't know, like, I'm not sure if I want to keep it up like this. I think the quality is higher otherwise, but let me know in the comments, like, if you see, like, a bigger difference. I have to see, I have to kind of adjust. I kind of want to change a little bit with the content and try to get it a little bit more, I don't know, appealing. So, yeah, well, I'm just trying out stuff right now. That's something can work or make my content a little bit better to watch. Here we have the Grass Nut from the Credilly. Nice bait there from my opponent, of course, knowing that I would shield there. But we're going to be able to get to move the um, Aerodactyl as well. I don't know if we're going to win this game, though. He's going to go for the Stone Edge. We have to farm him. Are we going to be able to win this game? 
Let us see. We gonna be able to win this game. We definitely still have a movie, I think. And this gonna be it for this video. Thanks all for watching. See you in the next one and have a great rest of your day.